The farmers used their own produce to launch this specially prepared protest, aimed at the politicians who they believe should be protecting them. At the moment, the milk is being sold for less than it costs to produce, which effectively means many are working for nothing. Politics are really killing us. It has to change very quickly at the European level. When Europe is without food, we will see how we will survive. But with the way it is going, we are in big trouble. Agriculture is still one of the most shielded economic sectors in the EU, but it hasn't been able to protect farmers from the global financial crisis that's caused demand to crash. On this dairy farm near Eindhoven, there's a feeling of frustration. The rising cost of grain combined with the falling price of milk is making life hard. Jacob Pustjens has bought up enough grain for two years to try to avoid being hit by the soaring prices. They're cutting down the, the feed input in the ratio and maybe they put less grains in it. And I think the, in Holland, it's for example, the grass quality that's lower, so there's less milk production. And uh, in the rest of Europe, I think farmers uh, don't have any money and have the, the, the maximum quality in their ration. The farmers aren't asking for more subsidies or grants, but simply for consumers to be charged a price that generates a profit. But retailers are reluctant. What we're seeing certainly in uh, uh, supply chains is that farm gate prices are, are heading upwards, uh, but retail prices are being held down and uh, the processors are being squeezed in the middle and uh, seeing reductions in their margins. Now the European politicians are being asked to bring in new laws to force shops to reflect the real costs. If these demos don't do the job, the farmers say they'll be back. Anna Holligan, BBC News, in The Hague.